Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and in this video, I want to talk about plugins. Now, we all know that um, when Maxon made the shift from uh, Cinema 4D R19 to R20, they made some major changes to the core of uh, Cinema 4D. And because of those changes, it meant that a lot of the older plugins that we loved and were used to using um, were now broke. They did they no longer worked. Uh, so the options were basically the developer of those plugins had to make them Python based and update them so they could be used in R20 or if that wasn't being done it means that you'd have to go back to R19 to use those particular plugins. Well there's actually a way that we can use those older plugins in R20 and we can do that using uh, Insidium Bridge uh, I'll put the link to this in the description of this uh, video on YouTube and on my website um, so you can get to this page. So let's have a look at my plugins folder. I'm just going to close Cinema 4D and here you can see program files, Maxon, Cinema 4D R20. I created this plugins folder and put all my plugins in there. For the most part, uh, all of these are natively working with um, Cinema 4D R20, uh, but these three don't. Um, these are a few plugins that I've grabbed from, uh, I think it was cinemaplugins.com, something like that. I'm actually going to go through these in a future video. But you'll see that this Collard Shader uh, Mondrian and Reverb Pro um, don't actually work in Cinema 4D. And we can tell that they don't work in R20 because... Two of these plugins should be in my shader list. So if I open, if I create a new material, go to color, drop this down, and then go to the shaders, they, they should be listed down here somewhere. You can see we've got the real flow wet map and the substance shader and all that stuff, um, but they're just not present, which is gutted. And the other plugin is actually a tag. So if I create a cube and then right click on it, there should be a tag in this list. Um, being generated by that plugin, but it's not present, and that's because this is an older plugin, um, or at least one that doesn't conform to R20's standards. So let's have a look at the bridge and how we can get these old plugins working. So I'm actually going to close Cinema 4D because it's going to need to be refired when we've made these changes anyway. So like I said, you go to this page, you register and download. Basically, they'll send you an email saying to verify. Um, your IP or something and then it will give you the download link and once you get that download link you'll get a raw file that you can unzip a zip file or whatever and inside that zip file you will find this you will find these two files inside and all you have to do is put these two files in the root of your plugin so I'm just going to copy these and place them there do this for all current Item. So you can see that they're in there now, the C4D bridge, uh, XDL64 and uh, Xlib. So that's the collar shader. Let's go to the Mondrian tool and do exactly the same thing again. Copy these. I didn't actually didn't need to copy them. Um, Reverb Pro and then do the same, paste them in there. So now they're in our uh, old style plugins, if you like. And now we can fire Cinema 4D R20 back up. So there we go. It will take a little bit longer to open than it normally does. And I should imagine because it's got to read these files. And I mean, I don't know by what magic, <laughs> by what dark magic, this is um, actually working. So, I mean, I can't tell you. But it must be doing something upon load, executing code. M maybe it's you know translating I, I really don't know but whatever it is is uh, is magnificent so let's create our material again open it up and then do the same thing as we did before if we look down the bottom we've now got this plugins and our real flow wet map that was here before is now in this plugins uh, thing and I should imagine once you get a certain amount of shaders that are third party it dumps them in this folder um, but there you can see collar shader and Mondrian shader so now these tools, these plugins, are actually working. And if we check our tag as well, so I'm going to create a cube and right click. Oh look, two, Tools 4D Reverb Pro Tag. 
So it is now there. Um, they do say on the uh, on the website that um, bridge compatible plugins, and they list some. Obviously, these haven't uh, this hasn't been tested with all old plugins. So if there are problems, they actually do say if uh, you're finding you've got issues, um, drop them a line, and they and uh, they'll see if <coughs> they can work together with the plugin developer to work for any problems and that kind of thing. So it looks like they're really on it, which is really, really good. So yeah, that's how you can use old plugins uh, in Cinema 4D R20. That's it. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.